Whoa, do I hear a birthday Hi. boy returning? A bit late, but yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> How was your break? Oh, he's had a great time, haven't you? I was just uh, coming in when his taxi was leaving. Yeah, where are your bags, Lucky? I'll put them in the hall. I've got your present, mate, but I've left it in the village, so... All right. Cheers. How come? Let's take your bags upstairs. Well, that's fine for a bit. No, we'll... Uh, we'll take them now. We really thought you might not turn up today. Oh, I'll stop coming when I'm paid what I'm due. Until then. My son has just got back after weeks away. Yeah, my stepson. We've got a lot of catching up to do. I deserve to talk to him alone. Yeah, I can guess what you're going to tell him. Well, should I lie? Chrissy, can we not just... No, to whatever you're going to say. Feel free to sit there while I give him chapter and verse on you, but if you had the tiniest shred of decency, or, or even less likely, if you had any shame... I've got both, if I need to see. I'll leave you to it. Have fun slagging me off. Mm. with the agent text, hmm? Another brother coming out as gay. Just look at me, laughing like mad. Sorry, sorry. How is he? I mean, obviously, it's not a disease or anything, I haven't but... got time to be worrying about him. Mm. Bud. Yes, I'm practising for Debbie and Pete's wedding and I really need your help. Why is it what? As in, Marlon has picked the worst day ever to be off. I don't know what I'm doing. This <laughs> looks and tastes like something a three-year-old made at nursery. And what are Debbie and Pete going to say when the wedding day comes and it isn't ready? We'll have to not get married now. Maybe. Why does it sound like that doesn't bother you? No. Go on, I can tell that it's something. Well, I just think Pete can do better. Have you seen Debbie? Yeah, she's not a lot. Well, excuse me for not thinking that you're the best judge of women. Well... I don't think Pete's the best judge of character. Well, clearly not when he picked you for his best man. What do you know that I don't? Why do I start? Morning. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Right now, I am torn between murdering you and beating you to a pulp. You gave more of them pictures, didn't you? No, I know you're beating people up, but at least do it for the right reason, well, I eh? I think of a better one. Well, except it wasn't me. Yeah, of course not. Well, I, I had them. They got nicked off me, didn't they? So you had backups. Did I? Why well, was I trying so hard to stop Harriet from wrecking that memory card? It was Ross that mugged me, by the way, in case you're interested. Right, so who nicked him up in, then? Well, I don't know, maybe no one. Well, why would he give him to Moira? She's his auntie. Why are you asking me and not him? <laughs> what was that for? Pick a reason. Hiya, mate. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, cool. Get in the car, start it up, drive fast and have a crash. I got your present. Whatever, well, it'd be my granddad's money that paid for it anyway. You told me you were there for me. And I am. Lies like everything else. No, luckily, look, just because your dad... This is about my mum! Get away from me, Robert. I can't put things right. Yeah, well, I've already told you how you can do that. You know, it's not like you don't have your secrets. Oh, I'm going to set myself on fire. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, maybe I should tell them the truth, eh? Why are you saving me? Yeah, well, my stock can't get much lower. I think yours might plummet a bit if you did. Enjoy that. 